and blessings everyone welcome back to the humble servant homestead guys today i am out here down by the elderberry patch now i want to say about two years ago we came on out here and we planted this elderberry patch right here um pretty much from cuttings and even some that the uh, seed fell from when we was doing um, our elder, making our elderberry syrups and we was washing the seeds and some of them fell and they germinated that way as well. And what we went ahead and did, we came on down here and put them in this spot right here. Now, if you all remember, this is pretty, this is pretty much a ravine right here where we have all these elderberry planted. Okay, now my wife looked at me a little bit crazy when I told her the idea of what I was going to be doing with the elderberries. So we do have a bit of ravine here on the on the property that we will be putting in elderberry as time goes on, guys, just to fill those up and be able to utilize that space. Okay, now the reason why we are utilizing the ravines and using the ravines here, that is pretty much a channel where water pretty much flow. And if you all know that elderberry, they love water. A lot of times whenever you find elderberries out there on the road, they will be next to a creek or some source of water where that root can be fed um, constantly. Now, these elderberry plants, um, we have not noticed any suffering in these plants, even throughout the heat of the summer. They still do really well here, guys. Okay, now, but so far, this was a beautiful, beautiful spot, I'll say probably right at about uh, two to three weeks ago. And the reason for that is we still have a few flower, flowers here from the elderberry that have not opened up just as yet. And so, guys, if you all can see, it is just a beautiful sight. When I come outside and I look down here, it was just all white, all white. And then not only that, I can smell it right now. But when it was all flowering, you could stay up there and you're trying to figure out what is that sweet smell? What is that? And I'm trying to figure it out and trying to, you know, check myself a little. What is that sweet smell? And it was one day I came down here and I was walking by and it hit me. And my son said, Dad, what is that smell? And it dawned on me, guys. It's the elderberry blossom. I cannot explain the, the, the fragrance, but it's, it is so sweet. It smells so sweet. Now, this plant right here this year is outperforming last year. Okay? We did not have as much blossom on the plant last year. But this year, it is loaded. Now, I am guessing the reason for that is is because throughout the, the summertime, once this plant finished with all the fruit, uh, this is where we was taking cuttings from, okay? And so I believe with cutting it and pruning it back, I would, I'm just going to say pruning, pruning it, it back, even though that was not the intention, it put out a whole bunch of shoots, therefore we get a whole bunch of blossom, so that is what I will do in the summertime as, as again as well is prune from this particular tree once all the canes start to turn brown. OK, now you may notice that we don't have any elderberry cuttings on our store. The reason for that is, guys, these cane, they are still green. We want those canes to go ahead and get mature and turn brown. OK, but uh, so far. Elderberry is um, pretty much all the way down to this end right here. And we still have uh, quite a bit more ravine to fill because we have ravine going down there, coming from even that way, and also right on around this area here. Okay, 
And I believe we do have two different varieties of elderberry. Do you remember? Uh, one is a black European. Black European, yes. That's exactly what I figure. And so this is just a regular elderberry. The black European elderberry is planted down on that side. Now, if you can see that tall plant right there, that is what that is. And so what we will do with that particular plant, we will take cuttings from it and we will start a different, uh, uh, a different one over there. Different, you know, I guess you would, what would you call it? Different patch, patch mm -hmm. on over there. Uh, so it can have its own little section. Okay, but that is that is one of the thing, and as y'all can see, the clusters they are they are big. Even the one that I just showed you right there, and I think what we're going to do this year as well with some of this elderberry. Um, of course, the reason why we plant a lot of this elderberry here on the property give you the reason why. Um, elderberry is. It got very good health benefit when it comes to building your immune system, which we all need to build immune system, right? And so that is why I plant the elderberry. I believe it is it is also rich in antioxidant. Am I saying it correctly? Antioxidants. Antioxidants, yes. And so it do have quite a bit of that property in the berries as well. And so that is just the reason why we plant it here on the homestead and plant so much on the homestead because we do also dry them out and, you know, put them up for whenever we do need to make whether it may be tincture or elderberry syrup. All right. So that is the reason. But what I'm going to be trying my hands on this year with the elderberry is some wine. I'm going to be making elderberry wine, guys. So I'll let you all know how that turn out and what it tastes like, okay? Now, elderberry is one of those things that is also known that you, you cannot just come on out here and pick the berry and eat it just like that. It can actually, uh, you know, poison you if you eat it like that. So that is why you always wanna make a tincture or boil it down to make a syrup, okay? Or a tea. So don't just come out here and pick your elderberry and say, oh, I'm going to eat elderberry, uh, you know, berries like that. Don't do that. All right. I haven't done it. So I'm letting you know that don't do it. I mean, use your your discretion. All right. So, guys, um, that is pretty much it right there. I just wanted to come on in and give you all a update on the elderberry patch. And wow, that's. Oh, wow, look at that. I don't think that's what that is. I was looking at it. Oh, maybe think it's... No, maybe the cane, the original cane that we planted. Mm -hmm. Kind of look like it, but I don't... Like I don't think that's what that is. It could be, could not be. Oh, actually, yeah, this this is another piece right there. And so that is what we did. We, we had the canes and we just came on out and stick them in the ground. Of course, we put them in water so they can go ahead and root first. And then we just dig the hole and put them on down in there. All right. But it, an elderberry is real easy to propagate. OK, mm -hmm. that is one of the thing with these plants. Very, very easy to propagate. It's not hard at all. All right, guys. So that is pretty much it right there. Just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out for there. coming along with us on the elderberry patch. OK, like I said, very, very beautiful flower. And I believe even also these flower you can make. Um, what is it? You. Oh, don't Oh, okay. All right, guys. All right. So, and that's, that's, that's pretty much it right there. I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. And as always, peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there. Have a blessed day. Remember, keep a smile on your face. You be happy. You be cheerful. You be blessed. Have a blessed day.